Well, we are in the final stretch now. In just over two weeks, the SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft will roll out of that vehicle assembly building. And before the end of the month, officials say it will blast off from our space coast. Today, the NASA administrator and officials from across the country gave an update on the mission back to the moon. News 6's James Sparavero reports from Brevard County. Just 26 days. Until NASA could launch the 32-story Space Launch System, the first mission to the moon of the Artemis program. After more than a decade of developing a rocket even more powerful than the Saturn V of the Apollo program, Administrator Bill Nelson says launch day is finally closing in. Orion will venture farther than any spacecraft built for humans has ever flown. And on these increasingly complex missions. Astronauts will live and work in deep space. Artemis 1 will not carry astronauts, but NASA says the Orion capsule will fly around the moon with three mannequins on board, while several small satellites focusing on lunar science are deployed. The SLS is currently inside the vehicle assembly building at Kennedy Space Center after rolling back to the VAB when NASA finished testing at the pad. NASA plans on returning the rocket to pad 39B on the 18th, should the 29th continue to be the target for the launch. A two-hour launch window would open at 8.33 in the morning, and from launch to lunar orbit to re-entry and splashdown, NASA says the mission would last 42 days. Certainly looking forward to finishing up the work in the VAB, seeing this amazing vehicle roll to the pad, and finish up the final preparations for launch. And if you're traveling to watch the launch, plan ahead before hitting the road. The Space Coast Office of Tourism expects at least 100,000 visitors. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results new six.